Hey guys, this odd camera angle could only mean one thing. I've got another collection video for you today and we're gonna go over my bronzers. So if you're interested in my bronzer collection, then just keep on. All right guys, so again, we're going one drawer down and this has um, all of my bronzers and then there's some other things in here which we will go over probably in a different video. But I have, I think, enough bronzers to cover one video. Um, so let's just start here. And just to let you know, this little plastic thing I got at the container store in the kitchen section. It's, I think, by Interdesign. Very inexpensive. I think it was like maybe $2.99 or $3.99. Anyway, it fits the compacts pretty well. So um, let's just start here. So I have my Chantecai HD Perfecting Bronze. I love this powder for like a nice subtle bronze. It's just super pretty. And then we have another Chantecaille, excuse me, <clears throat> another Chantecaille bronzer. This is in St. Bart's. And this was actually recommended to me by you guys because I had purchased um, Capri, which is another bronzer, but I actually use it as blush. So this one is definitely much more of a bronze. It has a little bit of a sheen to it. Really, really pretty. Then we have the Armani Sun Fabric in 100. I don't know if they make this anymore, but this is one of my favorite, favorite bronzers of all time. I just love it. I think the tone is super neutral. It works just great on my skin as a contour, as a bronze. The powder is wonderful. It blends out beautifully. Love that one. And then I have a couple Bobbi Brown bronzers here. This one is Elvis Duran, and this one is for when I'm feeling a little bit more tan. This one I think is a little bit dark for me in general, um, but this one is Stone Street, and this one I love. This is like another one of those perfect tone for me bronzers. Uh, here is the Lila B bronzer. This one is like a split pan. It's really pretty, has a beautiful sheen, and is very subtle, very, very subtle, as you can see. But look at that golden sheen. I don't know why this product isn't talked about more. It is really, really beautiful. And here's my Guerlain Terracotta Light, I believe. Terracotta Light uh, Sunkissed Healthy Glow Powder in Light Warm 01. This is the one with the different colored spokes. And this is a beautiful light toned bronzer as well. And then here is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess. This is like a deluxe sample. And I've only used this a couple times. I think it's nice, but it just, for some reason, doesn't really kind of show up on my skin very well. I don't know. I don't know why. It's not that it isn't pigmented. It's just one of those shades that I think just kind of disappears on my skin tone. But it is pretty and I do know a lot of people like this one. Here is my beloved Sisley uh, Sun Glow Bronzing Gel Powder. Love, love, love this. The texture of this is so unique and the color is so beautiful so warm. And here is a Chanel bronzer. This is the Le Beige Healthy Glow Multicolor Duo Number no. 1. This was part of the Le Beige collection, I believe, last year, so this is not in production anymore, but this is a really beautiful um, split pan as well. Mixed together, it's really nice, too. It has a nice reddish kind of undertone. Love it. And then we have, this is this year's, right? Yeah, this is the Healthy Glow Luminous Multicolor Powder in Medium. This has those beautiful like stripes in there and it's just a beautiful, beautiful powder. Really soft, really blendable. I don't like when my compacts get really dirty. <laughs> and then here's the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronzer. I got these last year and these were one of my favorite bronzers from last year. So this is tan and then I have medium because they're super, super light. So normally I would get like a light version if there was a whole range of bronzers, but medium and tan worked for me. So there is medium and here is tan which has a bit more of like a reddish kind of undertone. Here is a little, um, I guess, little deluxe sample for the Kevin O'Quan Desert Days, the Matte Bronzing Veil. This one is very, very light. Very, very light. It's almost like a blush. So I don't use this one very often. Um, the Gucci, this is um, Indian Sand. Here is... Indian Sand. I really love this bronzer. It's a little bit deep for me, so when I'm feeling dramatic, <laughs> I pull this one out. Or if I've, for some reason, gotten a tan, I'll pull out Indian Sand. 
Um, here is Rouge Bunny Rouge. This is their bronzing glow powder and I have it in 007 at Goldcomb Bay. And here is the pan. This is a beautiful bronzer. It has much more of like a neutral tone as you can see next to something like the Gucci which is so warm. And then here is the NARS Laguna. Very pretty as we all know. And then here is the mini, I don't know why this is here, this is the Contour Duo from Kevin O'Quan, the little travel size. This should probably go into my face palette drawer, but I take this with me when I travel if I'm really short on space. This is great. So this has the contour and the highlight. And then here's a mini NARS Laguna in the original formula, which is, I think, too dark for me. I think the newer formula is a little bit lighter. I don't know, that could be in my head, but I think that this one is a little bit too dark for me and <laughs> the uh, the new formula is works on my skin tone. All right, and then we have the Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light. This one I love too. This is a very warm bronzer and there's definitely a little bit of micro glitter and shimmer going on in there. So this is like a special occasion bronzer for me. And then I have two of the big Tom Ford bronzers. This is Terra. This is in the new like ultimate bronzer formula and it's like a baked formula um, and it has a really nice sheen but I find it a little bit difficult to pick up on a brush but I do like the tone of it. And then I have another one but in the original formula this is in gold dust. I love this one. I love that it has like a little bit of gold shimmer to it. It's lighter than Terra but it's more um, it's more like warm tone. It's just it's really really pretty and I like this formula better than the baked one. It's much easier to pick up on your brush. And then I have two of the Victoria Beckham Estee Lauder bronzers. This one is Java Sun. So this is the darker one. There's Java Sun. Just a really beautiful matte bronzer. And then here is um, Saffron Sun, which is a little bit lighter. So there's Saffron Sun. So you can see it's much lighter than the Java Sun. And then I have the Marc Jacobs. This is like a deluxe sample of his Omega Bronze in 102 Tantric. This is also a very pretty one and I like to take this one with me when I travel. There is Tantric. And then here is the Clay de Po um, Bronzing Powder Duo. Really, really love this one. It's so pretty, the two shades together. There's the Clay de Po. Beautiful sheen and just such an interesting tone to it. It's almost like a peachy, pinky undertone. It's very pretty. And then here is, wow, this is an oldie but goodie. This is the Laura Mercier uh, Matte Radiance Baked Bronzer in Bronze 02. I love this. I use this to death and it's still like dome. There's so much product in here. But here is the bronze. So it's very light, very warm. And then here is the Guerlain Terracotta Rue de Zille bronzer. I've been talking about this a lot lately. This is the one with the compass design. Beautiful, beautiful warm tone bronze in there. And it has like a nice sheen to it. Very pretty. Then we have the Marc Jacobs, the Tantastic Omega Bronze. This was what was limited edition last year, which was when I got it. And then now it's been re-released. And I think it's part of the regular line. But here it is. Again, another beautiful, neutral um, matte bronze. And then here is the Jennifer Lopez Inglot Collab bronzer in... I forget which one this is, because it's, um, it's on the pan, which I can't get out at the moment, but I do like this. The powder is so super soft and silky. There's the JLo one. And then I have two of the newer um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is Rose Wood. I like these bronzers too. They're matte, they blend nicely, they work well, the tone is really great. So there's Rosewood, and then here's Tawny, which is a little bit deeper, a little bit uh, redder in tone. And then last but not least, I believe, here is the Estee Edit Ferris Bronze in Light Medium. This has been discontinued, um, but this is a lovely bronzer. <laughs> There's the Estee Edit. If you do happen to have a CCO near you, which is basically the cosmetics 
company outlet store um, that's owned by Estee Lauder. They have all the Estee Lauder brands. You will probably find this there at a very discounted price. So if you're interested in this, you could probably find one there. I totally forgot to mention this when I went over face palettes, but this is newly acquired, and this is the Smashbox Cali Contour Face Palette. So I'll just talk about it now because I do like the bronze shade in here. It's really, really nice. All the powders in here are really nice. The blush is beautiful. This highlight is stunning. Is really beautiful. So that's the Smashbox Cali Contour Shape Bronze Glow Palette. So here's the Dior Backstage Contour Palette, and I've been loving this. I love these two powders um, for highlight and for contour. So there's the highlight, there's the contour. So I've been loving this. I think this is actually my favorite product from the Dior Backstage Collection that came out. Just been grabbing this quite a bit. All right, I think that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back. Alright, so that's it for this video. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you like makeup collection videos, and definitely subscribe if you want to see more. I am slowly making my way through my collection. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!